high. In the next few moments, Derek Bogan of U.S. Medical Equipment Incorporated, a client and I speak about why it's so hard to actually have your salespeople or even yourself as a business owner go through the arduous and painful process of cold calling, especially when it comes to creating new leads and following up with leads. You're going to figure out and see firsthand just why it feels like you're in a gun battle at the OK Corral and then how to survive it. Enjoy. I don't know if you know this, but I've recently become a gun owner, a legal gun owner, right? And I've begun to train, but I came across this one guy, his name is Instructor Mike, and he has this cadence that he shares with his uh, students. He does consulting, uh, gun instruction. He's in the Chicago area, which is sad for me because that means I got to travel a long way, but I'm really interested in his, uh, in his methodology, his approach. One of the things he says, I'm, I'm adopting. You're the first to hear it, okay? You're the first to hear it. I'm adopting, which is a mantra that he says with them, which is hit, not dead, keep moving. And at first, I didn't quite catch it. I was like, what are you saying? Hit, not dead? Because he says it on a, I think it's a TikTok, right? It's a tick. I found him on TikTok. And I, I saw it says hit, not dead, keep moving. And then it clicked. That's the mindset of a person that's engaged in warfare. They understand they're going to possibly get hit. But once they get hit, they have to instantly go to that next mantra, which is not, not dead. dead. And then to the next mantra, which is keep moving. I love it, man. Man, I said, you know what? That that That's fire right there, baby. That's fire right there. That's fire. Because in business, in life, in anything, you're going to get the shit kicked out of you. But it does not have to necessarily kill you. And you got to keep moving, man. You got to keep moving. Now, I can put a little Bible on this, of course, and tell you, you know, 1 Corinthians 4 or 2 Corinthians 4 tells us we are hard pressed on every side, but we're not crushed. We're perplexed, but we're not dismayed. You know, we're, we, are, we are persevering through this thing. And that's the mindset you got to have in business. And he's talking about it in the context of, you know, gunplay, baby. Because I've always wondered, you know, how does that guy take that hit and keep moving? You know, it's because his, mentally he's already, I'm going to get hit. But when I get hit, I'm going to, I've got to realize I'm not dead because I'm thinking cognitively and I got to take another step either to the right, to the left, forward or backward, right. but I got to keep moving. And that's how people survive gunplay, I believe, you know? So I adopted that man, you're the first to hear it in this conversation. I'm like, you know what? I want our people to understand, well, especially when it comes to lead generation, you have to know you're going to get hit, but you're not dead. And you got to keep moving. This is business, baby. This is not, This is, don't ever take that attitude when you're dealing with lead generation. Because you, a no today is not a no tomorrow. In other words, you're going to get, you're going to get hit. But you got to remember you're not dead and you got to come back stronger. You wait, come back the next day. I'm sorry, I know you said you weren't interested, but by the way, we have this really great sale going on right now, or we have this great opportunity that you might be interested in. You have to be able to not die once you've been right. hit. So, I got excited about that, as you can tell. <laughs> right on. I like, I do. And that's what I, Tom, you know, you have a salesman in the field, you know, he gets hit every day. The more you, and, and I guess the main reason I think this is adequate for you, Derek, is because you've had some success with identifying an audience, what we would call blue waters, right? Where there's no other competition really pursuing them the way you are. I mean, it's a literal gold mine there, right? So if you do it well and you, and you manage it well, you cultivate that audience well, you can stay ahead of your your competition a little bit longer, right? Before they catch on and start doing it, right? right? And, we, and we recognize this is going to be short lived, but yeah. <laughs> but then, yeah, go ahead, follow, follow. So, so, no, no, I'm glad you do. So you got to get the most out of it while you can, right? 
Um, right. And customer care is that 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 real that thing that you're going to like that secret sauce you're saying you're going to add to the the other negotiations that that customer care you all provide. So when I thought about that and I thought about you, I said, you know, that's great, but that's not going to last. You've got to, what a lot of people will do, unfortunately, marketers will do this, they will see a win and they'll sit back and get comfortable. Okay, good. You're making some money. Good. No. Now I need you to really gear up and understand how aggressive you need to become with generating new leads. Always understanding that new leads truly are the lifeblood of a business. 